Now, if you have a hard time getting up in front of an audience, in this case to give a PowerPoint presentation, why don't you go ahead and record your voice for each slide here. For example, come up here, click on the Slideshow tab, go down to Setup Group, and click on the Record Narration. Now, to make a note here, your voice will record and embed into the presentation unless you check the link box here, in which case you'll pick a folder to embed your recordings in that's linked to the presentation. So in other words, you'll have two separate files. You'll have your PowerPoint file here, and then you'll have your audio file. Now, if you decide to pack and go and you forget your audio file, or you move it out of a particular folder and it's not linked, you're not going to have a good time giving a presentation when you have no audio there, in which case you'll have to get up and start talking, which is something you don't want to do in the first place. Again, it's not about not getting up in front of an audience. It may be that you want to be able to give a presentation online, and you can't be everywhere at once or at different times. So you may want to record your voice here on it anyways. So I'll leave that unchecked and just embed the audio into the presentation itself. Next, I want to look at the quality of the audio when I do my recordings. By clicking on Change Quality, the default is Mono. I can click on the drop-down arrow and do something that's a little bit higher in quality, like CD. In stereo, 16-bit, of course, the file will be a little bit larger, but I'll sound better. Click OK. Next, setting the microphone level. I'm not going to go ahead and click on that, but you want to do it, because if I click on that, it'll have a fit, it'll freeze the program up, because right now I'm trying to record this training video. In any case, when you click on it, what you want to do is you want to talk into your mic, and there will be a little light bar that will flash that when you talk loud, if it gets over into the red, you're talking too loud, or talk as loud as you want, but just click and drag the slider down so it forces you to have a softer voice. Once you're done setting the microphone level, then you're ready to record. Go ahead and click OK. Automatically starts the presentation, and I'm on the first slide. So it's recording everything that I'm saying to you right now. This is the presentation. This is Gutter Lake. Click Next. It's recording my voice now. This is the bird era. Of course, that we were in the Cubanism at that time. Click Next. We have some more pictures. Isn't that fun? And Hey, here's our vacation spots, and it's all done by me. Click Next, click Next. Then it says, look, we save the narrations for each slide. Do you want to save the slide timings as well? In other words, you record the narration, and it's also timed. Do you want to go ahead and save the timings? I'll click Save, Yes. It dumps me into the slide sorter view. How do I know that? Because the slide sorter view allows me to view all my slides basically within one view here. In fact, you can see down below it's an orange slide sorter or come up here on the View tab and it says Slide Sorter as well, outlined in orange. I don't know if you can see it, but there's little speakers in the lower right-hand corner of each um, slide here. And you can see it saved the recording. So I spent 15 seconds on this slide, 4 and that one, 3 and so on. So if I go ahead and I start the slideshow again, but this time with my recordings, click on it, you'll be able to hear me. Let me hold my mic up to the speaker here. ...to you right now. This is the presentation, this gutter lake. Click Next. It's recording my voice now. This is the bird era, of course, that we were in the Cubanism. I'm just going to hit the escape key. Okay, so if I go ahead and I change my view back to normal view, you can look in the corner of each slide, and, well, there's the recording for that slide. Go up to slide 3, there's the recording for that slide. I can go ahead and go to the Options tab and click a preview. It's playing back my recording right now. Okay, then finally, you can set this on autopilot if you're not going to be there. In other words, if this is going to be at a kiosk, remember in the training video on Setup Slideshow, you want to come up here, click on the Slideshow tab, go to Setup Group, click on Setup Slideshow, and we can say this is going to be at a kiosk. And you can see right here it's going to loop continuously until somebody hits Escape. So once I click OK and I start the PowerPoint presentation, clicking on the Slideshow, it's just going to keep on going. Even when it gets to the end of the slide, it's going to loop and start back on slide one. So we can really brainwash our audience here. I'm going to go ahead and hit the escape key. And again, if you want to switch that out to go back to presenter, click on setup slideshow, go back to presenter so it doesn't keep looping, click OK, and good to go. One final thing is that you can mute the audio on each slide if you need to. So for slide two, maybe that didn't turn out all that great, or I don't want to play it during the presentation, go ahead and select it up on the options tab. You can click on the drop down arrow and say mute. Of course, it's only going to mute this audio for this slide because if I come up here to slide one and I come down here and click on the speaker, then click on the drop down arrow, that's defaulted to medium. Again, slide two, when I come back here, drop down arrow, that's muted. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.